Well guys, I decided to spend this Sunday uh, exploring the old bushcraft camp. And as you can see, she's in pretty uh, pretty hard shape there. But anyway, brought along some food and some, uh, you know, an axe and saw and stuff. And probably just uh, clean up the old camp here and uh, definitely cook some food. The old fire pit needs to be rebuilt by the look of it. The old uh, fire reflector clean up the old tarp and stuff that's here and I'll shred it yeah we'll have a look at it anyway and uh, spend the afternoon here I'm sure Luke you enjoy it hey buddy What's up, buddy? You having fun? Oh well, kind of got her fixed up again. Just need a tarp, a new tarp to go over there. But it's all right for now. Let's start working on the fire pit now, and then uh, get a little fire going. Cook some grub. Should be a fun afternoon.
What's up? Where were you? Huh? Where were you? Huh? We're gonna eat some food soon. Yeah? Go on, play. Huh? You being a good boy? You being a good boy? Hey? No? We'll play. You can go play. We're gonna get some supper soon. Okay? What's going on? Head away. Move. Move. The shovel I actually found on the North Saskatchewan River a few years back when I was panning gold. It's all rusted to pieces and stuff, but I assume somebody was using it to pan gold and, and left it behind. So when I drove home, I threw it in the trunk of the car. Brought it here when I built the bushcraft camp and it's been here ever since, but you can see the handles almost rusted off and everything now. Well, it's nice for making the fire pit and stuff and shoveling a bit of snow away from the Away from the bedding there, the bed. The old bitty big cute boy. Love this girl. Love it. Get out of there. Look. Look, get. Bitty Big Q. Link is always in the description. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that beautiful little fireplace. Okay. Perfect. Just get our fire going now.
don't you touch just went behind the bushcraft camp over here cutting a little more firewood I heard my frying pan hit the hit the ground my buddy had my steak in his mouth my own fault for leaving it on a tent nut just sitting there but a little dog slobber won't hurt I'm sure that'll bake off over the fire I'm gonna get him his supper right now all right well I'll get your supper I'll get your supper don't eat my steak don't eat my steak okay I'll get your supper now you got a good supper too boy you got a good supper too you know Let's see what we got in here for ya for ya bud Garbage go away, buddy. We got some pork, buddy. Some pork roast. Luke's got some pork roast and some dog food. I'm just gonna put a little bit of water in here, and warm it up. Get out of there. Get out of there. Here. Here, young fella. Get out of it. Wait, no. Let me stir it up for you. Let me stir it up for you. Ah! Ah! One second. One second. Let's see what we got in here. Huh? Oh, buddy. Let me see if I can stir in that dog food a little bit. Probably not. Here. Here. Don't get too much slob around my fork, but I gotta use that. Here. Water it. Oh, frigate. Here. Okay, my boy. Stay out of my steak, no? Here. How's that? Delicious. All right, let's get our steak on, boy. Let's get our steak on. Still a bit too much there, but we'll make it work. Just seen two ducks come down, land right in the brook in front of me here. I don't have the zoom camera, but let's see if I can get footage of them. If Lukey doesn't see them first and chase them off. Yeah. I didn't realize they were that close. I thought they were further up the brook where they landed, but scared them off. Damn it. <laughs> Lukey's gone chasing them. Time for this guy to come off and do its thing, do its little rest thing. Try to keep it away from Loki. Just 
Fake nades. Fine little feet. You had your supper, buddy. Go get the rest of your supper. Feels good to be back here. Just chilling and you know, having a fire and cooking some food. No real agenda, just just a little visit in the woods, you know. It's been a busy week. Today is Sunday. I guess I guess the last day of April. So trout and season opens up again in a couple weeks. May 15th. I spent Monday uh, filming and editing, uploading the, the Shopify video there and the 20,000 subscriber one. That was on Monday. Tuesday I headed to St. John's, watched my son uh, perform at the Rock House there. He, uh, he was one of the opening performers for, uh, for Mad Child. Mad Child was in town there. So I watched my son perform on Tuesday night, then drove back out from St. John's the same night. <laughs> Got out around midnight, a little bit after maybe. Got home. St. John's three and a half hours away, right? So got home around midnight, Tuesday night. Then, uh, Got up 20 after 5 Wednesday, Wednesday morning. My uh, my other son and I headed to Gander for a prospecting course, a gold prospecting course, only a three hour course, it was free, so we headed over there. Took part in that, that was pretty good. Learned a lot about gold prospecting in Newfoundland, you know, what to look for and that kind of thing. Kind of right up my alley actually. For anyone who's been following for a while, you guys know I I collect rocks and fossils and stuff, so I'm, I'm really into that stuff, right? So on the way home from Gander, then I had to meet up with the wife and my daughter. My son uh, drove home from there, and then my wife and daughter and I went to uh, Southwest Arm there for, for floor hockey, so that was the same day as the prospecting course. She had floor hockey regionals there, so we went and spent the rest of the day there. Drove home from that, and then, uh, what day was that, boy? That was, uh, that was Wednesday. <laughs> and then Thursday, we went back to Clarenville. My son had basketball. So we went back to Clarenville on uh, Thursday for basketball, my son's basketball. And then on Friday, we went back to St. John's for my daughter's volleyball provincials for Friday and Saturday. So we got out from St. John's last night, close to midnight. So I slept in a little bit this morning and then headed in the woods, you know. Came in here just to chill out for a bit, relax for a bit, get Lukey out of the house, you know. So I've been super busy this week, so he doesn't, he doesn't get into the bush either, right? So yeah, we had a jam-packed week for sure. Look at this big baby. 
gonna sit on my lap so he's comfy. You're gonna lie down now, are you? I should have brought a wool blanket for you, bud. Huh? Should have brought a wool blanket for you. You ready to go home and see mom? Oh, where's mom? Where's mom? Oh, who are you looking for? Huh? Where's mom? You wanna go home and see mom? Go home and see mom? Here we go soon, buddy. I want one more cup of tea first, okay? Okay? Okay, you big baby? I'm gonna get another cup of tea. So guys, just wanna say thanks to everybody who ordered from my Shopify store so far. But unfortunately I made uh, I made a little error there. I, I had all my uh, all my uh, apparel and stuff in Canadian dollars, but then the, sh the print on demand company was charging me American dollars. So I kind of messed up there and uh, you know I lost money from from the conversion from the Shopify to the print on demand. I lost money there, but I think I got it fixed up now so if you guys ordered you know since I uploaded the video uh, announcing the store well you guys got a great deal and uh, I just got it straightened out this morning actually so I thought I had it fixed once and then uh, you know there was some more orders and then I realized it still wasn't fixed so then I had to uh, actually contact Shopify so yeah so it's all good now it's fixed up um made a mistake there and uh cost me a few bucks but still uh pretty happy that people are actually purchasing my apparel you know so it's all good still should only be around uh you know it should still only cost about what it, what it cost when i was uh selling it privately you know around 35 36 bucks for a hoodie or something there's some zip up hoodies and stuff on there that are a little more expensive but like i said my profit is very very small so so i can't possibly uh, lower it anymore you know it's still cheaper than a lot of uh, what other youtubers are selling way cheaper i'm probably it's probably the cheapest apparel you'll purchase out there you know from a youtuber So tomorrow I'm hoping to get the canoe out for a little paddle. See how Lukey does in the canoe, you know, uh, after uh, being out of the canoe all winter, see how he does. I really want to take him, you know, when I go on uh, fishing trips and stuff and in the back country and that, so we gotta get him trained up. You know, I just had a memory actually on my Snapchat the other day of Lukey's first uh, quad ride there. When, when I first got him, I was testing him on the quad. I've had him just a little over a year now and he didn't like it when he was you know eight weeks old he didn't like it on the quad he was afraid and stuff so and now I can't keep him off it you know he run outside he runs outside to go anywhere and he runs right for the quad jumps up on the quad he's ready to go but not all the time we're going on quad but he he wants to go on quad he knows when he goes on quad now that this is where he's coming he's coming in the bush right so he's all for it so hopefully we can get him like that with the canoe, you know. Hopefully when he sees me loading the canoe, he knows we're going in the bush, so he'll be happy in the canoe, you know. Alright guys, thanks a lot for joining me back at the bushcraft camp for a little cook up, a little bit of repairs, hope you guys enjoyed the video, probably get back here again soon for another cook up, probably bring a tarp and stuff, 
and maybe even have an overnight here anyway thanks a lot for watching guys we'll catch you on the next one take care ready to go buddy let's take this little tarp over there this one's garbage buddy this one's garbage let's go let's go